If you're looking for one of the encyclopedias the library subscribes to, come to the library homepage. Under the big heading Looking For, select How Do I Find. This is one of the most useful pages on the library website. It takes a resource and puts it into a category that's useful to you. If you're looking for journal articles, journals, manuscripts, maps, you can find them. What we're interested in is encyclopedias. And here we have a page on encyclopedias. First there are print encyclopedias. What you're really going to be interested in is the core online resources. The Gale Virtual Reference Library has over a hundred encyclopedias, and you can search the full text of those encyclopedias. There's also something called Oxford Reference Online. It has more dictionaries than encyclopedias, I think. Underneath the Gale Virtual is a link to help you find encyclopedias in the Merlin catalog. If you pick a broad topic like biology and put in the keyword encyclopedia, you should find encyclopedias on biology. Underneath that are some of our select online encyclopedias. Some of these encyclopedias are very, very good. The Grimzik Animal Life Encyclopedia is excellent. Oxford Art Online is excellent, and so is the New Grove Dictionary of Music and Musicians. Let's go back up and we'll run a search in Gale Virtual Reference Library. I'm going to click the link. And after I'm connected to Gale, I can run my search. I'm just going to search for Tragedy of the Commons. Here it's found the phrase Tragedy of the Commons in 34 encyclopedias. What I need to do is browse through them and find the encyclopedia that matches the class I'm in or the topic I'm writing about. The first encyclopedia, for example, is on the social sciences. If I'm in a class in fisheries, I'm not interested in that. I want to scroll through until I find something pertinent to my subject. I could search the Merlin catalog for print encyclopedias from that same page, but I've decided to come to the home page and do it from there. Here I come to the library home page and select books and media. I'm going to search for encyclopedias and see if I can find one on the tragedy of the commons. I've made encyclopedias plural because that's a subject heading, and that will bring up all the encyclopedias the library has. I'll run the search, and unfortunately I only get one encyclopedia, and I'm not even sure that's the one I want. Instead of having my topic so narrow, tragedy of the commons, I'm going to broaden it a little bit. I'm in a class on fisheries, so I'm going to see if there's an encyclopedia on fisheries. So I'll say encyclopedias, fisheries, and run the search again. Here I have 10 encyclopedias that popped up. The first one certainly isn't very good. That's not on my topic. The second one on the environment might be okay. The third one is a glossary. That's not what I want. And the fourth one, I have one on the environment A to Z. That starts to look better. And the fifth one looks better still, Encyclopedia of Ocean Sciences, and down here, the Encyclopedia of Aquaculture. You might notice that the Encyclopedia of Aquaculture is an ebook. It is online. All the encyclopedias in the Gale Virtual Reference are also in the library catalog. You can make a search on a more specific topic by searching the Gale Virtual Reference Library because it searches the inside of the encyclopedias. In the catalog, we're really only searching the outsides of the encyclopedias, the titles, the authors, maybe if we're lucky, the table of contents. To get to these books, if it's online, I would click it, and that will take me to the online version. If it's a print version, I need to know where it's located. This was on the MU campus. If it's in the geology library, this is a separate library. There's the call number and the status. Because it's a reference book, it is not checked out. It's library use only. If I click MU Geology Reference, a page will come up giving me a map of the geology library. I'll also get the hours, and I'll get directions to the geology library. From here, I can also go to a campus map and find out exactly where the geology library is. 